Hello and welcome to this tutorial for rounding numbers to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. There will be another tutorial for rounding decimal numbers to whole numbers as well. But let's start here. We're going to begin by rounding to the nearest 10 and we'll demonstrate with the number 13. First thing we need to do is know which multiples of 10, 13 lie between. Its lower multiple is 10 and its upper multiple is 20. What we then need to do is look at its units, which in this case is 3. And on the left hand side we've got the numbers 0 through to 9 and we can see that if we've got 1, 2, 3 or 4 at the end of the number that we round downwards and that if we've got 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 we round upwards. We look at 13 and it's one of the numbers that rounds down. So we need to round our number down and 10 is 13's nearest multiple of 10. We then look at the number 47 and we can see straight away that the 7 digit is a number that we now round up. So we need to once more work out which multiples of 10 it lies, uh, 47 lies between. It lies between 50 and 40. And with it being a 7, we round the 47 to 50. Pause this video now and have a go at rounding these numbers to the nearest multiples of 10. Work out which multiples of 10 each number lies between and in a moment you'll see the answers. Pause the video now. Here are the multiples of 10 that should be either side of every number. The 23 will round down to 20. 88 rounds up to 90. 149 rounds to 150, and 232 rounds down to 230. We'll now move on to, uh, to rounding uh, the number to the nearest 100, and we're going to do this with 280. The multiples of 100 that uh, 280, 280 lie between are 200 and 300. Similarly to before, we now look at the tens, and we look at which multiple of 10 we round down, and multiples of 10 that we round up. Here is 80, and we can see that 80 rounds upwards. So 280 rounded to the nearest 100 will give you 300. We can also round 661 up to the nearest multiple of 100. Again, we determine which multiples of 100 it lies between. 600 is the lower one, and 700 is the upper one. And because it's got 60, we round 60 upwards. So 661 to the nearest multiple of 100 is 700. Now have a go at rounding these to the nearest 100 in your books. Make sure you know which multiples of 100 each number lies between before you decide which way to round, up or down. Away you go. These are our multiples of 100 that all of the numbers lie between. 350, the 50 shows that we should move and round this upwards. The 10 of the 510 tells us to, to round downwards. We've got 1330 next. The 30 tells us to round down to 1300. Now 2970 lies between, uh, it lies between 2,900 and 3,000, which is also a multiple of 100, as well as a multiple of 1,000. The 70 tells us that we move and round the number upwards to 3,000. 3, 2,970 is 3,000 to the nearest 100. For the last part of this tutorial, we'll be rounding to the nearest 1,000, and we'll begin with 7,400. Like before, we look now at the hundreds to determine whether we, whether we round upwards or downwards. 0, 100, 200, 300 and 400, 400 result in the number rounding downwards, whereas 500, 600, 700, 800 and 900 rounds the number upwards. Now, 7,400 lies between 7,000 and 8,000. And the 400 of that 7,400 tells us to round the number down. So 7,400 is 7,000 to the nearest thousand. We'll do the same with 2,836. Its, its, lower, its lower multiple of 1,000 is 2,000. Its high multiple of 1,000 is 3,000. The 800 
of the 2836 tells us to round upwards. So 2836 rounded to the nearest multiple of 1000 is 3000. Pause one more time to round these four numbers to the nearest multiple of 1000. Once more, determine which multiples of 1000 each of the numbers lie between before you decide whether to round upwards or downwards. Away you go. Here are your multiples of 1000 for each number. Uh, the 900 of our first number tells us to round the 5900 up to 6000. The 200 of 7200 tells us to round down to 7000. The 500 of 8520 tells us to round upwards to 9000. And the 700 of 6789 tells us to round upwards to 7000. That is the end of this tutorial. If you've got all of those right, well done. Keep practicing and we'll see you at another tutorial.